So my name is Panir Samuel and I'm a political scientist, cultural entrepreneur and uh, I write books. I'm an author of 13 books and I work a lot on the fields of media, politics and art and culture. So from theatre plays to exhibitions, but it's always about social justice and social radical change. Uh, no matter if I was a correspondent working from Thailand to Cuba uh, or if it's about being correspondent in my own city, Amsterdam, and looking into all these different ethnic, social, political movements, groups, uh, activists, and seeing, like, trying to understand the big challenges of today and the big questions of today, like climate change or the climate dis disaster, as I call it, or a political unrest, social inequality, uh, and how to connect those issues together and come with not only what's wrong, but also how to do it better or how to do it right. So the main message for me is the question of values. What are the values that we are moving from and how can we bring as many people on board on those values? So it's not about how we say things, but who are we? What do we want to say? What do we want to create? What do we want to design? And then how can we do that? And how can we do that better? So I came up with 15 values, but I found that in most companies, uh, schools, hospitals, wherever I came, Dutch railroads, people couldn't, if I took, asked three people, what are the values of this enterprise? They couldn't tell me. So we don't know what we're doing and why we're doing it, and therefore we're doing it wrong. And I think if people know their values, they also, you get a collective energy, and then it's much easier to ask, okay, so if we truly think that uh, our work should be accessible to everyone, or at least accessible to as many people as possible. If, if accessibility is a value, what does that mean? How do we create? How do we design? What should we design differently? Who should we get on board? And not only at the end as a, as a product test, but all the way in the creative uh, process and the brainstorm of the design and product. And I think by using these values, it's, it's easier to test and ask ourselves uh, and check ourselves are we really doing what we're believing in? And then who do we need on board? Which voices are we not listening to? Which perspectives are we missing? And which uh, language, imagery, design, shapes, colors, um, motions do we need? <laughs>